So you have a Samsung device locked to your Google account and can't access it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this issue. This usually happens if you have forgotten your account password or if you bought a secondhand Samsung where the previous owner didn't properly unlink their account. If this is your case, stick around because we will go through the step-by-step -step process to unlock your Samsung. So first, it's important to mention that this method will not work if your Samsung is blacklisted or reported as lost or stolen. This is very important because this video is for educational purposes only and we do not support unlocking fraudulent devices. The first step is to check if your Samsung meets the requirements to be unlocked. Specifically, we need to verify that this device is clean and it has not been reported as lost or stolen. To verify this, we need to get the phone's IMEI number. To do that, simply tap on the information icon on the lock screen or open the emergency dial pad and type star hash 06 hash and you will see that the IMEI number will show up in the screen. Additionally, you can also find this number on the back of your Samsung device or on the back part of the box that it came in. Before we continue, I should mention that this method is not free. We will need to pay a fee to unlock this Samsung, but I assure you that this is a much better alternative than having a completely useless phone. The next step is to go to the website unlockriver.com. I will leave all the links in the description of this video. On this platform, we will need to use the blacklist checker tool. Next, enter your IMEI number, your email, and complete the CAPTCHA. As you can see, this report has a very low cost, costing around three to four dollars, and you will instantly receive the report in your email. The report will include information about the blacklist status. In this case, we can check where it says device is clean or blacklist status. If the result shows true or clean, this means that your Samsung meets the requirements and we can proceed to request the Google account removal lock. We will go back to Unlock River and this time we will select Google account removal tool. Here, you will have to enter your 15 digit IMEI number again, along with your email, and then we will proceed to request the removal service. Price and processing time may vary depending on your region and your Samsung. Once the unlocking process has been completed, you will receive an email notification and it will look something like this. You will see that the Google account has been successfully removed and it will include instructions on what to do next. If you have already received this email, stay with me because I'll show you how to finalize the process. So first, we need to make sure that the phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Afterwards, press and hold the power button, then slide to power it off. Restart your Samsung. Then proceed with the initial settings, tap next, continue. And as you will see here, we have successfully removed the Google account lock from our Samsung device. And now we can use it without any issues. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.